corner of the internet here where we talk about luxury designer handbags. So today I have a very special video planned because I feel like we're always talking about the big, big brands that everybody knows. Chanel, Louis Vuitton, um, Dior, Gucci, Bulgari, Fendi, etc, etc, MS sometimes. <laughs> so um, I thought maybe it would be interesting to also look outside the big brands and see what's there. There are still a lot of like very famous um, designer brands, however they are not as well known I think to the general population as like Chanel. Everybody would recognize the CC signs. And um, so I thought, let's talk about a brand that I personally like a lot. And I'm also thinking of maybe adding a bag from that brand to my collection at some point. Um, I saw the perfect kind of like Romina bag <laughs> in New York last year. And um, since then I've been doing more research on this brand. And yeah, we talk about Judith Leiber. So I don't know um, if this brand is known to any of you guys. Um, she's very famous for um, her sparkly little clutches. You don't like it. You can't fit anything into those clutches. Maybe a lipstick and your keys. I think not even a card holder because most of them are very well uniquely shaped. Let's say that. But we get into that. And um, you cannot put anything in, but I think people who do collect Judith Leiber bags, Judith Leiber clutches, they do it to collect art. And Judith Leiber clutches are artworks. And um, here the... I'm not really good with the Kardashians, I don't know who's who and so on and so on, but the mother is a Kris Jenner, I'm not 100% sure, but she has an amazing collection um, of Judith Leiber clutches. And yeah, so let's get right into this topic today. Judith Leiber is famous for her sparkly little shiny clutches and she does them in a variety of shapes. So here we have some beautiful animal um, shaped clutches and I think it's fascinating. When you do see these bags, and I have some video footage for you as well in a second, so when you do see them it's unbelievably sparkly. <laughs> And um, they are all handmade, so what they do is basically they set every tiny little crystal hand set into, onto that clutch and um, it takes I think a long time to actually do that. But yeah, so this is the animal range. <laughs> they have many more bags, I've just picked some that I really really like and that I think are definitely worth looking into. My favorite one of these ones is definitely the little chihuahua. <laughs> I think that is just too cute. The little chihuahua in its um, pink hoodie. <laughs> and that's what I mean, like even if you open these bags up, like you can't really fit anything into. They are like this tall maybe, so it's about this size. And, um, but yeah, I really love this little chihuahua. I think that was my highlight when I scrolled through the website. <laughs> and um, so what I actually, my favorite bag, the bag I would consider buying is this beautiful um, python clutch and um, I just love the contrast of the black python leather with the beautiful golden snake on top and that snake is fully set with crystals as well so absolutely beautiful and I saw that one actually in New York and um, I did really like it. I couldn't buy it at the time, it was only a display bag. They had a little pop-up shop for Judith Leiber clutches and that's where I saw it. And um, yeah, I haven't forgotten about it ever since. <laughs> so um, I think if I would ever add a Judith Leiber bag to my collection, it would be this clutch. And if we talk about clutches, so in general, Judith Leiber bags, like the crystal ones, they are around like 5,000, 6,000 pound. So I guess six, 7,000 US dollar. And it's of course incredibly expensive. Um, you are in the Chanel Jumbo in the MS Birkin, pre loved MS Birkin range. And Judith Leiber bags, I have to say, do not hold their value. So they are not good investment pieces. Just take that into consideration. They are artworks. You can probably just put them into your cabinet and enjoy looking at them for the rest of your life. But it's not a good investment piece. You can find them on the pre loved market sometimes popping up here and there and they are a lot cheaper. They're like maybe around one thousand, two thousand dollar uh, US dollar um, if we talk about the crystal one. So yeah, completely different story. 
However, let's talk about clutches. So um, if you look into Judith Leiber and you actually think, oh, I really like it, but it's too expensive, clutches are the best way to go. Um, for example, my, um, I say my, but like <laughs> the snake bag that I like so much, um, that one costs uh, 1,350 pounds. <laughs> so um, it's a lot cheaper, I guess around 1,500, 1,600 US dollar for comparison. And um, so you can already see it's a lot cheaper than the clutches that are like fully set in in, in crystals. Um, so, and also they have a lot of really nice other evening clutches. Um, so the velvet one, for example, only costs around 400 pounds and it's beautiful embroidered with like pearls. And um, the other two clutches, they are only around 700 pounds, I think. So you can find beautiful Judith Leiber bags, new from the boutique, for um, a decent price, if you don't want to go with the, <laughs> you know, the crystal ones. Okay, so let me show you some other examples. For example, the food range. <laughs> I think it is so funny and I think she's also really famous, or the brand is really famous for the fast food clutches. I mean, how fun is that to have a burger or some fries set in crystals, but it's actually a clutch, so I, I don't know, I just think it's really, really cool. I've actually seen those um, fries, uh, and I think the burger as well, in Harrods, and I'm gonna put a video in right now, and um, it's absolutely fascinating. I try to zoom in onto the details for you guys so that you can see that, and yeah, I hope that you enjoy it. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, when you see them in person, when you see how sparkly and shiny they are, it's just like, yeah, diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> that comes to my mind. But yeah, it's it's such beautiful artworks. But like I said, I think it's not really useful. Like you can only like look at them, put them in your handbag cabinet, collect them. They're beautiful, but they're not useful and not practical at all. I mean, let's be honest. But I mean, if we talk about artworks in terms of handbags, then that's it. Um, yeah, so um, other than that, I found these examples and I thought they were really, really nice as well, especially the the clock, I think, is beautiful and stunning and I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, like, hopefully the shops will reopen on the 15th of June and um, I'm gonna sneak around Harrods again and maybe I get some more footage for you guys to, uh, to look at in terms of clutches. Let's see what Judith Leiber clutches they have now and um, yeah so um, they also do some personalization bags um, where you can actually like have your name you know written on the clutch or something like that and um, that makes it a little bit more personalized so many of these bags are readily available however if you go onto the website you will also see that some of them especially of course the ones with all the crystals um, all over it um, Many of those bags are made to order, so um, you can say, okay, you want the little chihuahua in the pink hoodie, but it's a made to order bag, so it's probably gonna take two, three months, I would I would say, to arrive. Um, but yeah, so I absolutely adore Judith Leiber clutches since I, you know, got into this whole thing, since I spotted them in New York last time. And I will definitely consider getting the, um, 
the snake, the snake, the python one um, at some point and maybe one of those little crystal clutches in the future from the pre-loved market if I find the right one. <laughs> um, I mean I would definitely love to get one of these tiny little dog, dog clutches because they're just too cute but yeah. So um, I thought that was really interesting. Um, let me know if you have heard about Judith Leiber before. Um, I have not, it's not a big brand here in Europe. I think we don't really know about Judith Leiber. I could imagine that a lot of US uh, handbag collectors have heard about her before. <laughs> but yeah, so absolutely love that brand since I, since I found out about it and I've been stalking their website ever since to see which kind of like new beautiful clutches they come out with. So yeah guys, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease and that way we can just share our love for very eccentric <laughs> bags with each other and yeah so let me know what you think about Judith Leiber and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I see you guys soon. Bye!